Hold on. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Morning has broken, but this morning is different. The birds are singing tunes of joy in the trees surrounding the grave. The flower buds are bursting in colors, vibrant around each stone. We've come to visit the grave of a friend, but he is not here. The sun is rising in the east. The shadowed uh, grays turn bright. The sun is risen in our hearts. Darkness and death end in defeat. Now we understand what Christ said, what God did. Now we can proclaim. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. May this declaration resound not only in the spaces we find ourselves this morning, but touch the lives of all we meet and forever be the truth of which we speak. May your love, once sown within a garden, tended for your own people, neglected and rejected, now spread its sweet perfume in this place and wherever it is shown. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We'll be singing in the garden together today. I tried a few different ways to have some background music for us and none of that quite worked. So forgive my acapella voice. So sing loud enough to cover me. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses. The voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses, and He walks with me, and He talks with me, and He tells me I am His own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. The sound of his voice is so sweet, the birds hush their singing. The, 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 the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. I'd stay in the garden with him, though the night around me be falling. But he bids me go through the voice of woe, his voice to me is calling. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. Joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Let us give thanks to God for the multitude of blessings he showers upon us, for our lives and for those whom we love, for the beauty of this home God has created for us, for our families and our friendships. Let us give thanks to the God of life. Mm -hmm. 
Let us pray for the church that it may carry forward the redemptive works of God, for our leadership, for the many lay people who serve the church and serve the world through the church, for those who gather all over the world this day in worship and prayer. Let us pray for the nations and peoples of the world that the powers that oppress and destroy may decline and that justice, peace, and prosperity be lifted up. Let us pray for those who are sick, those who suffer, those who struggle and who have died, that the hope born of Easter give them peace, acceptance, and renewal and that through their struggles, they may come into closer communion with God who redeems and restores. We pray especially for those who have been lifted up by name with specific needs and for those who continue to work in the public during these times, that they might have safety and peace. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Christ the Lord is risen today, Alleluia. All creation join to say, Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing ye hands and earth reply, Alleluia. Lives again our glorious King, Alleluia. Where all death is now thy sting, Alleluia. Jesus died our souls to save, Alleluia. Where your victory, O grave, Alleluia. Love's redeeming work is done, Alleluia. Fought the fight, the battle won, Alleluia. Death in vain forbids him prize, Alleluia. Christ has opened paradise, Alleluia. Soar we now where Christ has led, Alleluia. Following our exalted head, Alleluia. Made like him, like him we rise. Alleluia. Ours the cross, the grave, the skies. Alleluia. I invite you to take communion with me today in whatever form that means for you, wherever you are. Please know that it is Christ's table and it's he that welcomes you. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread, gave a prayer of thanksgiving for it and gave it to them saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, Jesus took the cup, gave a prayer of thanksgiving for it, and gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood, the new covenant poured out for you for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. We with, with God come in bread and cup, flesh given for us, now resurrected, that we might be redeemed. We are so grateful for this cup of blessing, this bread that sustains us through all things. May you bless it in every time and place and help it to be a blessing and make us a blessing going forward. Amen. I'd invite you to pause now and partake in the bread and the cup. 
Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went to the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed, for as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? When she had said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Hebrew Rabunai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. I see his hand of mercy, I hear his voice of cheer, and just the time I need him, he's always near. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. In all the world around me, I see his loving care. And though my heart grows weary, I never will despair. I know that he is leading through all the stormy blast. The day of his appearing will come at last. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Rejoice, rejoice, O Christian, lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujah, Jesus Christ the King. The hope of all who seek him, the help of all who find. None other is so loved, so, 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 so good and kind. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. 
May the loving power of God, which raised Jesus to new life, strengthen you and enrich you with his love and fill you with joy in the faith. Amen.